divisibility rules are the rules that you can use to determine if one number is divisible by another. The good thing about these divisibility rules ay hindi mo na kailangan gawin ang actual na proseso ng long division upang matukoy kung ang number ba ay divisible by a certain number or not. By the way, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin divisible? We can say that a number is divisible by a certain number if it can be divided by another number and leaves a remainder of zero. Let's say for example, 15 divided by 3 which is equal to 5. Therefore, 15 is said to be divisible by 3 since the remainder is exactly 0. Another example, 15 divided by 6. Here, we get a quotient of 2, but notice that we have a remainder of 3. Therefore, 15 is not divisible by 6. Kasi nga, hindi 0 ang ganyang remainder. And that's the basics. But how about if we have the large numbers? How can we determine if it is divisible by a certain number without actually performing an actual long division method? Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon sa video na ito. With that being said, let's start with the first rule. Divisibility rule for 2. An integer is divisible by 2 if and only if its last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Let's say for example, is 9 to 0, 8 divisible by 2? The answer is yes. Since, as per the rule, tingnan lang daw po natin ang last digit. If it is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then that number is divisible by 2. So dito sa ating example, since the last digit is 8, therefore 9 to 0, 8 is divisible by 2. Diba ang dali lang without actually performing the actual long division? Now, how about this one? Is this divisible by 2? Simply, the answer is no. Since the last digit is 7, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is not divisible by 2. Last example. Is this divisible by 2? The answer is yes. Since the last digit is 0, therefore, this integer is divisible by 2. So I hope that's clear, and now let's proceed with our next rule. Divisibility rule for 3. An integer is divisible by 3 if and only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Ibig sabihin po nito, kapag i-add pala natin ang lahat ng digits, at kapag ang sum of those digits is divisible by 3, then the original number is also divisible by 3. Let us say for example, is 3735 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Since 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5, which is equal to 18, and as we all know that 18 is divisible by 3, since if we divide 18 by 3, that is exactly equal to 6. With this, we can simply say that the original number 3735 is also divisible by 3. Ganyan lang po kadali. Another example, is 236835 divisible by 3? Okay, let's try to add all the digits. 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5, and that is equal to 27. Since 27 divided by 3, that is exactly equal to 9. This means 27 is divisible by 3. So we can also conclude that the original number is divisible by 3. We can actually verify this using a calculator. Last example for this rule. Is 6 to 2, 8, 5 divisible by 3? The answer is no. Bakit kaya? Let's add all the digits. 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 5, which is equal to 23. And as we all know that 23 is not divisible by 3, so we can also say that this number is not divisible by 3. Next, we have divisibility rule for 4. An integer is divisible by 4 if and only if its last two digits are divisible by 4. This only means that we have to observe the last two digits only. If it is divisible by 4, then the original number 
is also divisible by 4. Example, is 18248 divisible by 4? The answer is yes. We take the last two digits. And as we all know that 48 is divisible by 4, since 48 divided by 4, the answer is simply 12, which leaves no remainder. So we can also conclude that the original number is divisible by 4. Another example, is 25380 divisible by 4? Yes, this is also divisible. Again, just take the last two digits, which is 80 or 80, and simply divide it by 4, which gives us 20. Therefore, it is divisible, right? Hence, the original number is also divisible by 4. Ganyan na ganyan lang. Divisibility rule for 5. An integer is divisible by 5 if and only if its last digit is either 0 or 5. So dito madali lang. Tingnan lang daw natin ang last digit if it is either 0 or 5, then it is divisible by 5. Let's have a both example. These numbers are all divisible by 5 since obviously the last digit is either 0 or 5. And these numbers are not divisible by 5 since the last digit is not 0 or 5. Hope it makes sense. And now let's proceed with divisibility rule for 6. An integer is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So dito you have to apply 2 rules at the same time. As we already know the rules for 2 and 3, so we can simply do this. Example, is 27402 divisible by 6? Again, we can only say that this number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So kinakailangan, mamit po niya ang dalawang rules. Did you remember that in divisibility rule for 2, titingnan lang natin ang last digit if it is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Then that number is divisible by 2. So dito, the last digit is 2, which simply means that this is divisible by 2, right? Next, let's test if it is divisible by 3. Did you remember that in divisibility rule for 3, simply add all the digits, and if the sum is divisible by 3, then the original number is also divisible by 3. So now, let's add all the digits. 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 0 plus 2, which gives us 15. Since 15 is divisible by 3, therefore this number is also divisible by 3. And now, to sum it up, since this number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we can therefore say that this number is also divisible by 6. And hope you've got this rule. And now let's have our last example. Try this one. Is this divisible by 6? And I will leave this example unanswered. Feel free to comment your answer below for you to practice. And this ends our video. Other rules on our next video. Stay tuned. Bye for now.